What is going on guys? Welcome back to Same Old Everton. Hope you're all doing very well and uh, before we start I'd just like to say thanks to everybody who enjoyed the first episode um, that we discussed about on Bramley Moore Dock and I do intend to post more of these uh, in the near future and this one is uh, kind of you know influenced off of the first episode that we did where we were talking about what the current uh, plan of action is from uh, Everton and in terms of the construction of Bramley Moore Dock because there's still a lot of work to do it's a very long arduous process before we especially to the naked eye see real progress going on behind the scenes since the start of October Everton have began the process of you know displacing the water from the dock and putting in 450,000 uh, cubic cubic meters of sand I don't know what that is uh, in terms of measurements, but I imagine it is quite a lot. Uh, but um, I thought I'd show some photos that you may have may may have may not seen um, of Bramley Moor Dock at the moment. Um, there's a lot of photos going around, and there's been a lot of updates regarding Bramley Moor Dock in terms of uh, you know the progress, the development that's going on. Because this is a very, uh, this is the first real major development that has gone on at Bramley Moor Dock since construction began in the summer, since the start of the o October. Uh, there has been a lot of progress made, to be fair. Um, you know, not to just mention just the dock itself and trying to get the water out of the dock. There's also the warehouses and the buildings around the site uh, that have been uh, pretty much demolished. Um, some of these photos, I mean, for example, this photo here, um, this photo is pretty much what they're doing at Bramley Moor Dock right now. What they're doing is getting the water out of the dock. Uh, these kind of tubes you see in the water uh, are metal tubes that are uh, pouring the water out of the uh, dock and they're going to be uh, refilling the dock with sand uh, that comes from the River Mersey or the Irish Sea. And uh, like I said, it's around 450,000 cubic meters of sand. And our photo um, being the only building to stand on a site or around the site, that is, which is um, the soon to hopefully be renovated hydraulic tower. It's obviously a very iconic building as the one uh, building that Evertonians will look, like, look at on the site at the moment and say, you know, that's going to be there when we open the stadium. The expectations is for it to be renovated, um, you know, to be uh, used when the stadium is opened. And you can see that it's been surrounding the scaffolding. It's in the middle of all the action. And, you know, at the moment, it's still left to be st uh, standing there uh, while the infilling uh, development goes on. And also, you know, just to talk about what has been going on in terms of the workforce there. Um, when we have seen uh, footage and so on, it seems like a very uh, desolate, derelict uh, dock at the moment. Uh, there's not a lot of numbers there in terms of the workforce. You see diggers, um, you know, destroying the warehouses and so on. And those warehouses were taken down very quickly. Um, there is a lot of machinery on the site already, but not a lot of numbers, which kind of makes sense considering that this process to get the water out of the docks is expected to take upwards of four months. Uh, so we're talking about we, we'd have to wait until next year before uh, that uh, development is finished. But there you go. Um, there will be more photos that I'll show in the near future, I'm sure. There will be more videos talking about Bramley Moore Dock in the near future as well. Like I said, I really appreciate the support on the last episode. And if you do enjoy these videos, please do consider uh, subscribing to the channel would be massively appreciated. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all very much for your support. And I'll see you all later.